again, everyone watching at home or on the train, public transit, wherever you are on your mobile device. I'm Sean and I'm here in my happy place here in the Reverb Video Room and today we're going to be showing you how to use pedals as uh, outboard gear in a mix scenario. So we'll say in this case that I'm not who I am and I'm just some lunky session guitar player and I don't have big piles of showbiz cash for vintage 1176s, but I do have a bunch of guitar pedals already. Um, using a reamp box like this and just the interface that I've already got, I can effectively use these in a hardware loop the same way that someone in a studio would use an outboard compressor. So I'll show you what I'm doing here. I've got my guitar track, which is ultimately what I want to process with the pedals. It was recorded fairly dry and I want to give it a little boost and shaping with a compressor, uh, feeding my personal favorite reverb, a, a procession reverb by Old Blood Noise Endeavors. Um, it's like really trippy horror movie kind of stuff with like really weird modulated tails and I'll show you what it sounds like. The basic setup that we're going to be using is very similar to, um, to just straight reamping, uh, which we've shown you in a previous installment of this little series here. Before we were sending it to a guitar amplifier and recording that with a mic preamp on our interface, this time we're going to go instrument level just into a DI input, an instrument level input on our interface to record what we do with the pedals. We're not going to be hitting an amplifier this time around. So I'll show you my routing here. I've got um, my dry track, Guitar 1, was recorded in the studio. I've got that going out a bus, in this case bus 2. Bus 2 becomes the input of another aux track that I've made, uh, which I've labeled Reamp Send. So you can figure this as uh, my, my fader to what I'm sending to the pedals. Now I've got to record that back into the machine. The way that I'm doing that is I've got another audio track labeled Reamp Return. I have my input selected on the interface. I'm just going into an instrument level input on my interface and then monitoring out one and two like I would any other track. So I'll show you the dry track and then we'll record it affected. I'll put the uh, dry track on the left, affected track on the right. Here's the dry. Cool. So now I'm gonna engage my send and record my return. And here's how it goes. Get a nice healthy level back into the machine now with the output of my compressor. So now I'm just going to record the part that I want to affect. see that my two tracks are slightly out of time with one another and that's a function of latency involved with doing a D to A and then an A to D conversion. Um, any kind of digital to analog or analog to digital conversion is going to have some inherent latency to it. So what I'm going to do is just visually line these back up so you can see here the front of this particular note is essentially right on the money and then this is just delayed a few milliseconds. So I'm going to take this and just move it over. Pro Tools gives you a nice handy overlay. You can move it right into time. They are indeed locked. So here's the dry track. And I'll show you the affected one. in context with the song. So if you don't have a big collection of outboard gear, but you do have that pile of pedals sitting on your board, under your bed, wherever it is, now we've showed you how to properly interface them with your DAW so that you can use them in a mix scenario. And uh, that's all the time I got today, but we will be back, you will be back, and we'll see you next time.